if 2 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 4 raised to the power of x equals 4 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, then what is the value of x? Pause the video right now, and if you're done, here's the solution. Alright, so given this equation, we have power of powers, 2 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 4 raised to the power of x equals we have 4 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. Then our goal in this question is solve for the value of x. Now the answer to this question is not so nice because it contains logarithm and uh, square root, etc. But the question is how do we get the result? Now here's the solution. The first one, the first concept is we need to replace this 4 in terms of 2 raised to the power of 2 to make the left hand side and the right hand side be the same base like this. So this 4 becomes 2 raised to the power of 2. Next, we will apply some loss of exponent. So we can multiply the exponent of 2, which is 2, and multiply this to 3 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x, like this. Now, what we're going to do here is to focus on this equation. And since now we have the same base of 2, we have the same base of 2, therefore we can say that their exponent must be the same thing or equal. So we have 3 raised to the power of 4 raised to the power of x equals 2 times 3 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. Next, what we're going to do is to divide the both sides by 3 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x because we have here base 3 also on the left-hand side like this. Since we have the same base, so the left-hand side, we can rewrite this as 3 raised to the power of 4 raised to the power of x minus 2 raised to the power of x. Now let's focus on this equation and now we are now ready to solve for the value of x. First, let's take the logarithm of both sides. Now applying some loss of logarithm, so the exponent of 3 which is 4 raised to the power of x minus 2 raised to the power of x, we can put this exponent in the front of the logarithm like this. So we have 4 raised to the power of x minus 2 raised to the power of x multiplied by logarithm of 3 equals logarithm of 2. Since we want to find the value of x, so let's divide both sides by logarithm of 3. Now, focus on this 4. This 4, a while ago, we replaced this with 2 raised to the power of 2. So we will do that again. And 2 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of x. We can interchange the exponent x and 2. We have the same thing. So we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2. But the question is why we do that because we have the same term of 2 raised to the power of x. Now, let's finish this question. So let's focus on this equation. And what we're going to do is to replace this constant as k. Why not? So let's call this logarithm of 2 over logarithm of 3 as k to make this equation more simple. So let's do that. And then another substitution. Let's replace 2 raised to the power of x with the variable t. And if we do that, we get t squared minus t equals k. Now, we have a quadratic equation in terms of t with a constant k. Now, to solve for the value of this t, what we're going to do is to complete the square on the left-hand side. So, let's add one port on both sides. Now, notice the left-hand side of our equation, t squared minus t plus 1 over 4, we can factor this out nicely because this is a perfect square trinomial. We can factor this out as t minus 1 half raised to the power of 2. And so we can now solve for the value of t. By the way, the right-hand side, k plus 1 over 4 is just bring down. So take this down. Next, let's get the square root on both sides to solve for the value of t. So we have t minus 1 half equals positive or negative square root of k plus 1 over 4. Now let's focus on this result and we are now ready to find the value of the variable x. We don't want the value of t but we want the value of x. So let's add 1 half on both sides. And take note, this t is 2 raised to the power of x and we know 2 raised to the power of x is always greater than 0. So the value of 2 raised to the power of x is always greater than 0, cannot be equal to 0. 
So, we cannot accept the negative value of this t. Therefore, we can say that t equals 1 half plus square root of k plus 1 over 4. Next, t is 2 raised to the power of x. So, we can replace this t with 2 raised to the power of x. And finally, to solve for the value of x, let's get the logarithm of both sides. And then this exponent x, we can put this exponent in the front like this. And to solve for the value of x, divide both sides by logarithm of 2. So x equals logarithm of 1 half plus square root of k plus 1 over 4 all over logarithm of 2. And that is the value of x. Oops, by the way, k here is logarithm of 2 over logarithm of 3. So let's bring back the value of k. And there you have it. This is the value of x that satisfies this equation. Now, if you want the approximate value of the value of x, here it is. The approximate value of logarithm of 1 half plus logarithm of logarithm of 2 over logarithm of 3 plus 1 fourth all over logarithm of 2 is approximately 0 0.5246. And as always, we are done.